How's it going guys? All handmade here with another interesting toy from Parkside. Humidity and temperature meter. The price in Germany is only 13 euros and this is including batteries. The device can be used for measuring air temperature, dew point temperature, wet bulb temperature and relative humidity. The temperature measuring range is from minus 30 up to 100 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity measuring range is of course from 0 up to 100%. This is how the device looks like. It's powered by three AAA batteries. The display is equipped with nice green backlight. This over here is the sensor head. We have four rubberized buttons. Let's start it. The right button is for selecting between air temperature, dew point temperature and wet bulb temperature. We have a button for showing the lowest and the highest readings and this button over here is combining the hold function and the on off switch for the backlight. The device is equipped with auto power off function and another interesting feature is the option to manually adjust the humidity offset. In order to evaluate the qualities of the Parkside device here you have this professional Fluke 971 temperature and humidity meter. As you can see, it's a little bit longer than the Parkside. It has almost identical functions as the Parkside. Let's measure the weight of the both devices. Parkside with the batteries weights 146 grams. And the Fluke with its batteries weighs a little bit more, 193 grams. Let's start the devices and compare the readings. As you can see, the air temperature readings are pretty equal. Let's toggle between the different temperature modes dew point temperature wet bulb temperature maybe here is the right place to mention that the Fluke is, I don't know, maybe 30 times more expensive than the Parkside like I said, the Fluke is a professional temperature and humidity meter. Again, air temperature. Let's continue with the biggest difference between those two. The sensor head on the Fluke is way more responsive to temperature changes than the sensor head on the Parkside, and it's normal. The Fluke is way more expensive. The temperature on my both hands should be pretty equal, so let me demonstrate you something. Observe how the readings on the both devices are changing. As you can see, the readings on the fluke are changing way faster. Let's do another test with this DC fan.
So again, you saw it guys, the temperature on the fluke is way more responsive, it's changing faster, while the park side needs a little bit more time. In the end, the decision is up to you and your budget of course, whether or not to buy the 13 euros park side or the 300 euros fluke. That's all for this video, if you'd like it, you know what to do. Bye guys!